Hello fabulous Gemini, welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2014 general focus. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. Now before I start talking about this month I do want to put it in a little bit of a perspective because next month some really big things are going to start happening for you. Next month we have a full moon taking place in your sign which always brings important developments close to the heart, brings things to fruition, brings things to clarity and leads to major decisions, turning points if you will and actually if you look back um, at your life, if you look back at the last few years, you may find once you line them up that some significant developments, turning points given the year usually took place, the standout moments usually took place right around the time you had either a full moon in your sign or a new moon in your sign. But I do think the full moon is felt more than you would feel the new moon. New moons tend to happen closer to your birthday. So now here we are exactly opposite your birthday, about six months uh, away from your birthday. And that brings the season of the full moon. And so that's coming up for you next month, which in turn will, after focus on yourself, will lead to financial changes, financial progress, financial developments. And I'll be here to talk all about that then. However, this month you are going to get some very important previews as to what is coming up for you next month, which is why I mention it now. And these previews are going to tell you which way the wind is blowing and get you to be honest with yourself. Do you like it or not? And where you don't, this is the time to make changes so that you can reap maximum benefit once we get you into next month's cosmic climate. What we have happening this month is um, a very important meeting that is taking place. Happens about once every two years or so. And this is when Mars and Pluto meet in the sky. This is happening right around the middle of the month. This is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has a financial focus. It has to do with financial institutions. It has to do with grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, um, benefits. It has to do with inheritances. It has to do with what astrologers call other people's money. And it has to do with accessing funds, ultimately dealings with financial institutions as well. What is interesting about this particular configuration that's taking place is that it is speaking in supreme harmony with a full moon taking place just a few days before. Now this full moon is taking place in the sign just before yours and is symbolic of the things that are happening for you behind the scenes and usually unconsciously. So we've got this full moon happening in a part of the sky that has to do with energetic undertones. It has to do with what's happening with you on the dreamscape. It has to do with faith. It has to do with miracles and it has to do with angels, other people working on your own behalf without you necessarily knowing it. So this full moon speaking in supreme harmony with this configuration, a power configuration of change and of effective transformation from the inside out taking place in a financial area of the chart while well, you put that together and it is just as it sounds. There are things that you have already done, karma that you are about to reap that is about to make you richer this month. Now, how the universe goes about actually making you richer is going to be revealed in a few different ways, but understand that it is actually part of a larger journey. It's only going to be a little bit of a preview of what types of endeavors you will take on more consciously once we get you into next month's cosmic climate. The big thing that you can do to help yourself now is trust. That is a big factor this month. Are you going to trust that the things that you needed to do, you've done, that what needs to be put into place has already been and that there are other people who have been observing what you've been doing and do think well of you. That's what you have to have faith in and trust. There's not a lot of action with this particular configuration. The only action really on your part is to document your dreams. That's going to be really big to examine any of your own fears because this can be a great time of you 
really releasing any kind of um, beliefs or energetic blocks that you may have to prosperity, to experiencing great abundance, this can be a time when you actually start to experience those types of breakthroughs and those types of changes. And so document those dreams, pay attention to what is coming forward. And if any blocks are asking to be revealed, this is a time to heal them, to prepare for as part of preparing for the abundance that's going to try to find you next month. That is taking place in the early part of the month. And I do think that this is going to mark a significant turning point for you. Now, some of you are going to find, I mean, it might be just as basic as you have a series of dreams that help you release blocks that reveal to you what you could be doing to create greater um, financial freedom for yourself, greater prosperity for yourself, what needs to be healed within you to open up that pathway more and more. And you start to implement those things. For some of you, it might be a business idea that seems to come out of nowhere. That is in your dreams. You repeat a scenario, somebody that you met years ago, and now you realize, oh, wow. Yeah. That person worked in the financial sector. I should contact that person. It is going to be in your dreams when lots of really good things are revealed. And it is going to be in the dream space that you're going to attempt to resolve a lot of blocks that might show up for you. For others of you, I do think that the possibility of you actually um, getting some good news, financially speaking, if you've had any kind of settlements that have been ongoing, that seem to have been dragged on for a long time, this is a time when you could find a conclusion does come up for you. If you have found yourself um, sort of engaged in um, a process of attempting to uh, gain benefits um, or insurance payments or in any kind of like tax returns that have seemed to be held back, this is a time when things seem to resolve themselves. And it looks like overall you feel very empowered by the changes. So it does look like the changes feel really good. This is a really, this configuration, as I said, is speaking in supreme harmony with a full moon that is taking place that is about karmic closure that is about good things happening without you knowing it so all of this is taking place it looks like you are feeling affirmed and stronger and clearer and more powerful as a result of the financial gains you make but understand as i said it is only a preview to what is actually going to become more of a focus once we get you into next month this month represents a turning point. This one month represents you understanding yourself and your relationship to money differently in a way that is more healing in a way that is a little bit more aware in a way that is a little bit more enlightened, even if you will. And that in turn can really open up a source of prosperity for you that you just haven't seen so far. And I do think that for some of you out there, you may have been very focused in one direction. This is where I need to go if I'm going to get my money or my prosperity or my opportunity. And this particular full moon could lead you to a moment of truth of realizing that's not where it is meant to come from for you. For some of you out there, I do think I do remember a particular scenario that seems to be coming to mind now. So I'm going to share it. I do remember um, somebody once contacting me and saying, you know, this person owes me all this money. When am I going to get this money? And looking at the chart, I said, you know what, you're paying so much attention to what somebody owes you that you are not paying attention to all the different ways that prosperity is actually trying to find you. Well, this could be one of those types of moments when you realize, wow, I'm paying all this attention to what I am owed instead of looking at all the different ways that I could actually be creating greater prosperity for myself. I could actually turn my energy away from that so that I can open up greater abundance. That type of healing moment, I think actually is very likely for a lot of uh, Gemini's out there this month as well. One thing is for sure though, the universe is trying to lay the groundwork for you to experience greater abundance and prosperity than you've known before. All of that is coming up a little bit further down the road this month. Your work is to have faith, and to examine yourself, 
to look at what's really going on within you and whatever developments come up, welcome them, trust them. If abundance finds you now, that's great. I do think that's going to be the case for a lot of Gemini's out there. But if for some reason you find yourself making half starts or just hearing some rumors, not seeming to pan out, don't worry about it. Things are going to take on a whole other richer flow just a little bit further down the road.